Okay, regex. Is it so simple? Does this match any character? Sometime. Very good. Um, what would dollar one contain if this were successful? Maybe. Which option matches given doggo? <laughs> Does this match for that regex? Thank you. These, this is exactly the questions I want people, or the, the, the responses I want to hear for these. So quick, how do you do any of these? Make named re captures, handle back references, avoid capturing in a group, reference Unicode properties, and encode escape sequences. Most of y'all probably know how to do this, but can you do it in Perl? Raku, ECMA, Python, Java, PHP, POSIX. <laughs> they don't all work the same way. And it's very frustrating when you have to switch between them. It's just not easy, all right? Let's say you're online and you find a really cool regex. You're on Stack Overflow and people are like, hey, this is how you do this one. Well, let's say it's this one. <laughs> Hope, hope, <laughs> what? That <laughs> no. <laughs> Does anybody recognize this one? Email? It's the email one. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so let's say you get this. Will it work if you just copy and paste it in your code? Maybe. Maybe. Right? <laughs> okay. So enter polyglot regex in. Thanks, Bob. Where are you at? Right here. All right. This. This literally came out of a conversation I had with him uh, last year at TPRC in Houston. So let's say we have a wild card, All right? So here's my code, All right? And I'm just gonna say, say so with the new line. And we'll get true, false, and true. What's the difference? Well, this is in Raku, not in Perl. So Raku, it does match anything. So we get true. But in ECMA, it doesn't. Except when it's in multi-line mode, in which case then it does. Right? And so all we do is we can put that in and tell it which language we want it to work in. This works in line uh, in Raku. What if we have named capture groups? Plethora of different formats for doing that. Same thing, ECMA, PHP, they just work as expected. Alternation. Here we've got different responses depending on which one you're in. All right, uh, it could be dog or dog. And what's really nice about this, it even works in grammars. So let's say I have this quick little one. I have a regex at the top, then I have an ECMA regex for the second one, and all the name captures work just like we would expect them to do. So right now, this only supports ECMA. I want this to change. So if you find this interesting, please find the project on GitHub and help me support other flavors of regex. And that's it.